hello friends so today i am going to explain today i am going to explain you like how we will add new storage on virtual linux virtual server okay so i can say like as a linux admin if you working any any organization sometime you getting a request from the application team or dba team right so may, may, maybe they wants to extend the existing file system or maybe they wants to create the new file system so they they will ask you so please uh, like suppose create a new file system so then you have to add the new volume new storage on the server virtual server and then you have to create the file system right so how will you have to process this activ uh, activity so i'm going to explain you today and i want i just requesting you all of you please watch this this video till end you know so why because i'm going to explain you in a real time environment like you know in a real time environment when we are talking so you know like in a like how you log into the uh, v center then you have to search the server then you add the disk so that things i'm going to show you in this today video and i can say this is today video also i'm going to show you this online activity like no need to reboot your system no need to shut down your system like server so you you will do that uh, this activity online so no need to reboot so that's why i'm telling you the, i'm going to uh, explain you as a real time environment so please watch this till video end so you can get the clear picture okay fine so you can see uh, this is my blog li uh, my linux uh, cloud so here all the linux and the cloud related uh, posts are available documents are available if you wish you can go and uh, visit this website like you will get the all the maximum i can say the li uh, linux related documents and inter linux interview related documents here so you if you want you can visit this website i will give the link this website link uh, in my this video description okay fine let me uh, start now so this is my lab setup you can see uh, i have installed the vmware in my personal laptop and top of vmware uh, i have installed the exe host right so if you wants to also for the setup your lab for learning purpose then you can install either uh, vmware or virtualbox and on top of vmware or virtualbox you can install our uh, like uh, linux os and ubuntu cent os as per your comfortable you can install that one and if you wants to set up a lab then how to install these things so if you wants to you know uh, uh, demo video that video is available on my youtube channel you can visit my youtube channel like techla knowledge and you can search it like how to install ubuntu server you will get it the video there also i ex i have i have already explained step by steps okay fine so in today video i can say uh, this is my v uh, vmware and in this top of vmware you can see i have all i have installed the exi host i have not installed the server here so suppose if you is working in any, any organization right and in any organization like when you need to extend your the storage on the server on the uh, virtual, uh, virtual linux server then what you have to do you have to log into the v center means your exi host right like on vm uh, vmware exi host on top of exi host you have to search it and then you have to extend the storage right so that's why i have built uh, this exi host because i want to show you how we are working in any organization so this is the uh, you know, build the exi host this thing this task handling by the platform team if any organization but uh, if you wants to learn how to install exi host that also video i have uploaded in my youtube channel if you, you can visit my youtube channel techla knowledge and you can watch that video fine so you can see this is my uh, exi host and i this exi host ip is 192.168.223.130 let me log into the this exe host 192.168.223.130 so you can see when i uh, type the uh, here uh, like ip so you can see i'm getting uh, the prompt here so why i am getting a directly prompt here because i have already log in let me log out from here so i want to show you step by step 
so when you when you hit enter like uh, you are giving the ip so then if you hit enter you will get a uh, window look like this so here you have to give your credential so in my case now i am giving my root credential here but if you are working any organization you have to give your credential to log in to the vcenter okay because virtual servers are available all the virtual servers are available on the vcenter right so you can see once you log in to the vcenter so you will get uh, like you know uh, dashboard look like this so your exi host details cpu memory storage so you can see it's showing here all those things okay and in my case you can see as of now i have only one server okay you can see that it's only one vm virtual machine uh, that name is space bar but in uh, when you working in any organization there may be i can say more than thousand servers right so then like how how you will find that particular server so you do simply you go to the search taskbar and paste it your server name and then hit enter then it will be filtered okay so i have now i have only one server you can see this is my uh, space box server here and this so and this server is also like sent os you can see and as of now you can see one cpu is there and 2 gb memory okay fine now i need to i uh, i need let me log into the first this server because i am going to show you online activity right so let me log into this server okay fine l s v l k come on so as of now you can see only one disk is uh, available in this server and that disk size is the uh, 20 gb right so you can see that disk name is uh, sda so only one disk is uh, available here now application team request they wants to create one uh, file system that file system name is uh, i can say suppose u01 okay file system name is u01 they wants to create uh, they wants to create the file system that file system size is 5 gb for example so all as of now you can see only the one disk is available that disk is a 20 gb that already uh, uh, that uh, space is already allocated so what you have to do you have to add the new disk on this server so how you will add so again you have to go to the vcenter let me minimize this the minimize option okay no problem okay so so what you have to do? you have to select the server and then you have to click the right mouse here so you can see it's showing edit setting option you can see here you have to click the edit setting once you click the edit uh, edit setting you will get uh, you will get uh, like no window like look like this you can see so now here you can see here is option is showing hard disk so only one hard disk is available on this this server that is a 20 gb okay so like you can also extend the disk from here but today i'm not going to show you that one because that is a some different uh, topic so i will explain you in the next video so today video i'm going to show you how you have to attach a new disk okay fine so you can select you can see only tw uh, 20 gb is available fine so what you have to do you have to add new disk so you can see here is the option is add hard disk so click on the add hard disk here you will get the two option so one option is selling new standard hard disk and second option is existing hard disk so new means like new you going to add new hard disk and existing means suppose if you have any other disk on any other server okay like suppose you are and that disk like you wants to attach here same like that uh, aws like uh, when you are creating the ebs volume and you are attaching to that ebs volume with, with uh, some particular ec2 instance right so same thing here so if you have already one, uh, any disk then that you can choose the existing hard disk so that also i am not going to show you today so that will i will cover in a, in a next topic next video today i am going to show you how to add a new di new disk because i am going to show you from the scratch so you have to click on the new standard hard disk okay
once you click the external uh, hard disk then you can see now now you can see two disk is available here one is a 20 gb and one is it by default is coming in the 60 gb but i need 5 gb right application team wants to 5 gb so i given the 5 gb you give then click on the save <coughs> once you save it let me close this one window let me show you once you save the uh, option then you can click on the you can see now it's a uh, it's showing like task in a log if you go to the log it will show you whatever you activity you will you doing on the server it will show you here all the details okay so if you want you can uh, if you want to check the logs you can go to the logs and task event and uh, in event for in event file it uh, event option you will get the all the information fine so now let me click right click again and let me go to the edit setting so you can see now two disk is available right we have 20 gb that already wa it was there now we have add the 5 gb fine i want to show you that one let me log into the server now let me log to the server okay so now you can see sda it was a 20 gb right it was saying now it's a new disk it's a coming sdb 5 gb you can see so you no need to reboot your system right so no uh, no need to reboot and shut down your system automatically it's a coming right sdb this is that's why i'm telling you this is an online process maybe sometime it's not coming maybe sometime it's a not uh, not a scanning the device let me try to log in this server with my put t sessions because i'm getting some problem here let me try to log in because uh, one second hmm, now it's fine so okay so you can see now uh, 20 gb and uh, 5 gb so new disk is available here right so suppose if sometime you will uh, you will not getting uh, like once you a after adding also new disk it's not reflecting on the server that time what you have to do you can run the you know a scan command device scan so you it's a two way you either you can go and manually run uh, a scan one by one or else you can run the the that uh, scan command with the for loop so i just i'm giving you here vi test i just I'm, i just i want to show you what is that command you can if you want you can note it down so that uh, loop is for i in and then ls space sys space uh, slash class is, uh, slash scsi underscore host slash or else i will run here oh sorry one second or else i, I what i will do i will run that command so you guys will let me run the command here so that will be understandable for you guys you for i in slash uh, in a till bracket ls space sys class underscore host slash host star slash scan okay 
do then echo space in double bracket has has dollar i has has enter and then echo space in double bracket three three dash you have to give controller learn and target so this is the meaning and then dollar i enter done so if you run this command you know if you run this command then what will happen so it will be a scan your disk suppose sometime if you not coming the new disk on your server so you can run this command so then the new disk will be reflect on your server so this is the i can say this is the way you can uh, add uh, new storage on the virtual server okay so this is the uh, first video i can say for the like disk add or uh, storage add on the v center in next video i will i will i will show you like how you have to uh, now create the file system with the uh, with the new storage device how you have to create the pv how you have to create the lv vg so i i, I will i will show you in a next video okay so i hope uh, you like this video so i'm just requesting you if you like please like share and comment on my youtube channel videos and please subscribe my channel so and thanks for your watching have a good day